In this problem, we have two masses in an elastic collision. Neither object's mass is directly given, but they are both related to m. Mass 1 is moving with an initial velocity of 3.0 times 10 to the 6 meters per second when it collides with mass 2, setting it in motion. Mass 1 will recoil backwards, and mass 2 will be propelled forward. We don't know either of the two velocities after the collision. Here is the given data for the problem. Notice how the masses are related to m. Notice how the masses are related to m. This is important because as you will see, the m's will cancel out when we do our algebra. The first velocity after the collision we will solve for will be the velocity of the smaller mass, v1. Using both the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of momentum, the equation to find the individual velocities of an object after the elastic collision is derived. If you would like to see how we get this equation, refer to the textbook. We will use this equation and substitute in the appropriate values to solve for our unknown velocity v1. Here is the equation that we will use. Remember that v2 naught equals zero, so the portion of the equation after the addition sign is eliminated, leaving us with the simplified form of the equation. Now we can plug in our values. When we insert our masses, we leave them in terms of m. As we do our math, the numerator of our fraction becomes negative 3m and the denominator 5m. These m's cancel out, leaving us with 3 divided by 5, or 3 fifths. When we multiply 3.0 times 10 to the 6 by 3 fifths, we get our answer. Here is our answer for v1. Note that it is in the opposite direction from its original motion. Next we will use our given data to solve for v2. To do this, we will use the equation that was derived for elastic collisions to find the velocity of the second object. Here is the equation that we will use. v2 naught equals zero so we can eliminate the part of the equation to the right of the subtraction sign. We will insert our values in terms of m. This time we get 2m divided by 5m. Once the m's cancel out, we are left with the fraction 2 fifths. 2 fifths times 3.0 times 10 to the 6 will give us our final answer. Here is our answer for v2.